The fight for control over another Minneapolis intersection intensified tonight. Groups have processes near Hennepin Avenue and Lake Street in Uptown since a federal task force shot and killed Winston Smith at a parking ramp there a few weeks ago. After a driver hit and killed a protester there on Sunday night, demonstrators started blocking traffic with whatever they could find, including this bus shelter. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily is in Uptown right now, where police just moved in about 90 minutes ago. Jennifer? That's right, and you can see there is a heavy law enforcement presence here in Uptown. They set up a perimeter with this police tape. You can see there are officers here on the street, police cars blocking things off. We're here at Lake and Fremont, and this goes all the way up to Lake and Hennepin, blocked on both sides. People have started to gather around those areas, too, yelling at police. Now, this has been uh, an interesting situation since it started to unfold when police brought, uh, people brought barricades back into this area after police removed them midday. We do know that this was a, a, something that maybe was planned. Well, I want to give you an idea of what this looked like. Take a look at video from around 8.30 tonight when police moved into this area in Uptown. They swarmed the area, moving in with vehicles and police officers. We're told some people were arrested. They brought in vehicles to remove the barricades that had been put up. They brought in dump trucks uh, to, to gather what the material that had been, that was being taken away. And they brought in tow trucks to remove vehicles that were parked at different parts of intersections that were blocking the streets here in Uptown. Now, earlier today, M Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry said that this is unacceptable, that while he uh, wants to protect the right to protest, that what is happening here blocking the intersections here in Uptown cannot happen, and that at some point they would come back and take over the intersection. We heard from him and others who were concerned about what's happening here earlier today. It's been a tug of war in this uptown intersection, closed, then open and closed again. Tuesday afternoon, people picked up a bus shelter and moved it to help block Girard Avenue and West Lake Street. It's all happening near where Winston Smith was killed by a federal task force and where a car struck and killed protesters Deanna Kanadek over the weekend. It's a remembrance. It's almost like a celebration of life. And as she is no longer with us. It would only be right to pay respect. Several businesses caught in the closed area shut down for the day. Others just outside decided to stay open. We are really worried and concerned for our clientele as well as you know, our staff. Elizabeth Lee says the nail salon she manages was tagged overnight. They've watched the back and forth. I did see um, the police here for the most part of the day earlier um, trying to clear out the street. And then as soon as they left, um, protesters or whoever is up there at the, you know, at the intersection, they boarded it up again. We're told police were met with hostility. The atmosphere uh, of the area has substantially shifted in the last couple of days. Mayor Jacob Fry said, while they will protect the right to protest, what's happening at the intersection is unacceptable. This is a safety concern. Uh, we can't have a major commercial corridor like this shut down. We can't have unauthorized closure of our streets, period. Uh, people need service. But people say the answer is not entirely clear. If they can keep it to where people can still vocalize and can protest peacefully, then, okay, open it back up. But they have to remember that people are upset and people are angry and people are tired and it's frustrating and it's scary. I mean and more police just moved into this area in the last couple of seconds. There's police on bike that are now in this area. And you can, might be able to hear some of the people across the street from me who are yelling at police. They have been doing that for some time now. Again, people started to gather around all the areas that are uh, taped off here. And uh, while they are in there uh, removing the barricades. Now, we did ask the mayor earlier today what the plan was because earlier they removed these barricades, people put them back. Now the city has come back to take the barricades down. He said, the mayor said, that they will not allow people to take back this area. So we do expect that police will be out here for some time tonight and possibly even longer. Back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you. The man accused of driving through the crowd of protesters on Sunday night may face charges tomorrow. Investigators say the 35-year-old may have been drinking or using drugs. The impact killed Deanna Kanadik, an activist and mother of two. Three others were hurt. Police say a city camera would have captured video of that deadly crash if this man had not painted over the camera earlier that night. The footage would have provided more evidence to the county attorney's office to prosecute the driver. Call Crime Stoppers if you recognize this man. 
tips can remain anonymous.